and welcome. We're the Howards and we're so glad you've joined us on our Florida vlog, our first Disney World adventure. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see what's coming up. Morning. Oh, looks like it's going to be an amazing day. It is so sunny and gorgeous. Um, we've had a bit of a late one this morning, so it is now, I forgot to put my watch on, I think it's about eight o'clock. We, where's your cereal? Oh, Dad's got it. We're now heading down to the food hall. The boys have got some crunchy nut cornflakes and some milk, but we forgot to get spoons. So we're just going to go down there. They're going to have their breakfast. And then we are heading off to Typhoon Lagoon, aren't we? Yeah. Because we were so late at the fireworks last night. Well, not so late. I guess we got back about half ten. Josh was falling asleep on the coach, on the bus, like literally standing up. I was holding his head in my hands and he was asleep. And Harrison was tired as well, weren't you? It was exhausting, really exhausting day, long, long day. But we've been fitting so much into our day, so it's really good. But today we are just going to chill out at the water park. Sorry, there's a leaf blower going on. I'm going to turn back on in a minute. Yeah. So um, what were we saying? What were we saying? We're going to Typhoon Lagoon today and we're literally going to chill out there or maybe even come back to the hotel, see how it goes. Um, when I say chill out, I've bought a book in the hope that the boys are going to go down the slides because I hate water slides and I'm going to sit at the bottom we love them. on a bed and yeah. chill out. That's my plan, but whether it goes that way or whether I have to spend the day up and down slides, well, your we plan's will screwed. see. Um, <laughs> you don't need mummy to come down the slides with you, do you? Well, um, forward to the massive way. Oh, yeah. no. So anyway, after Typhoon Lagoon, we're going to Epcot this yeah. evening. We have got a dinner reservation at Chippendale's Garden Grill. So I need to check that out because after yesterday when Boma wasn't at Animal Kingdom, I need to check out the Garden Grill actually is in Epcot and not in one of the Epcot hotels. So I'm going to do that when I get there. And we're going to try and, we're going to try and book on the virtual queue for Guardians of the Galaxy. We didn't realise that was a virtual queue, but it is. So we're going to try and book on that, aren't we, for you and Daddy? Yep. Um, because Josh has decided no more roller coasters. He's scared. It's fine. He's done all the big ones, and if he chooses that he doesn't really like that sort of ride at the moment, that's up to him, isn't it? That's fine. Me and Josh get to go on other epic things. We went on Winnie the Pooh yesterday, and that was really good, wasn't it, Josh? Kind of wish I went on it myself. How good was that? True. And we watched Nemo, which was really, really good as well. So we're just going to do some different things, which is fine. Yeah. So that's the plan for today. Typhoon Lagoon. Back about three or four. Head over to Epcot. We need to look through the list and see what we'd like to do there today. Um, then we're going to go for dinner at around seven, and then we're hopefully going to go watch the Epcot fireworks and show. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like a good day. Good day. That's our plan. So, what day are we on? Uh, Sunday. Fourth. Fourth day. So we've done arrival day, Hollywood Studios, Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, and today Epcot. And you decided that you like Magic Kingdom a bit more now, don't you? Mm. So we'll go there again because you're like the chief map reader now, aren't you? Good with the directions. Um, everyone was a bit tired on our first visit to Magic Kingdom, so decided that we didn't like it very much. But yeah, so we'll keep you updated on how today goes, won't we? Okay, so buses for Typhoon Lagoon. This is the only park where we have to get two buses to get there. We got the first one in the morning and it took us directly to Typhoon Lagoon. At other times of day when we went and we went on the later bus, you have to get the bus to Disney Springs and then you change over to get another bus for Typhoon Lagoon. And it's the same on your return. You'll get a bus to Disney Springs and then you get on a bus back to your hotel. We got here for about 9.30. The park opens at 10. You're in a holding area waiting to go in. It was super busy and super, super hot. Here we are at Typhoon Lagoon. Harrison running in to try and catch the tide away. Here come Harrison, Mum and John. Quick, quick, tide away is coming. <laughs> Look at Harrison, they can get smashed. Hopefully my phone's not going to get wet. There's Harrison, there he is. And that'll come again in a minute. Oh, 
Can you love that, mate? Yay! Yeah. <laughs> I like Kevin. There you go. So I forgot to bring my waterproof phone case with me, which I was really annoyed with myself about because I've got some at home. So I had to go to the gift shop and buy this one. It was $25, which is really expensive. I'm going to add a link in the comments for a pack of two on Amazon, which I've purchased previously. They're really good. And I think it's £12 for two of them. Um, this also means you can keep your phone and your credit card on you without having to leave it on a sunbed in the bag. There are lockers here, but we hadn't got one of those and I was freaking out about leaving my stuff. So a really good purchase is the ones from Amazon to take with you. I've used these and they are brilliant. Here's a little look at some snacks. You can get your popcorn bucket refills here, so don't forget your bucket. And there's also drinks refills. If you're going to come a couple of times, I'd say this is a really good purchase. So we chilled out on the lazy river for a little while until Harrison decided to do a disappearing act. He was just getting himself another floaty and a couple of seconds later floated around the corner, chilled out, not realising that we're having a panic attack about our missing child. We've got some ice creams. I videoed these the wrong way, so you've got them sideways on. They were really tasty. Um, is this is the Moana and Harrison's got the Hey Hey. I think they Give were five or six dollars each, but really, really nice. Um, a great buy. Good. Mark and I had the chili topped nachos, which were also pretty tasty. So we're heading off home for a quick change and now we're back out on the bus to Epcot. We've just arrived at Epcot. We've got a dinner reservation at Garden Grill. This garden's amazing. Look, there's the flower festival on in a Encanto. So excited to have a little wander around here. Hope this could be a bit of a chilled one and looking really forward to our dinner. Had about 20 minutes until dinner and the wait times were really low. So we went on the Mission Space Green Run. This was quite cute. We went up in a spaceship around planet Earth and then off to dinner. We've just been seated at our table at Garden Grill. We are so hungry and everyone's a little bit tired. So we're looking forward to a nice dinner, aren't we, Jay? I'm not hungry. You're not hungry? I'm starving. So we're, we I'm started our like we'll move around. We're excited to see where we're going to end up, probably, Humble Harrison. So well, no. we're kind of going from, where are we going? Uh, rainforest to a desert In, to water. Yeah, we'll see. We can have whatever Loads. Ready? So, Mark's got the signature cocktail, can't remember what it's called, but how does it taste? Mm. Awesome. Nice. Joshy's got his apple juice. Look at all this lovely salad and dressing we've got. I've and got some water. Bread and dip. I've got water. Harrison's got his Sprite. We are heading through the Rockies somewhere. And we've just got a shed load of food coming afterwards by the sounds of it. Sounds amazing. Wow. Hey, hey we're on a chip. Hey, hello. Hey, hello. Hey. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Come on, come on. Get up, get up. Look at this, all these cuddles. This is too much. Cuddling, uh, Come on. That's it, bring it in. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Look at that, another one. Uh, so dinner's arrived. This is all you can eat. And we have got barbecue chicken, mashed potato, veg, steak in there. Big bowl of mac and cheese, so me and Harrison get to try our mac and cheese, mac and cheese together. Cheese. All you can eat, this is awesome. She's eating all the steak. It's very good steak, isn't it? Now going past a little farm. Little doggy in the doorway. And there's a chicken. And there's a chicken. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I find snuggle, snuggle. Josh Fishbum. Hey, snuggle down. Snuggle down. Oh. More steak. What have you got, Josh? Steak. I've got cornbread. More cornbread. Oh, I didn't video. We've got cookies with Mickey sprinkles and summer berry shortbread with whipped cream. And Harrison is dying to get his mitts on. Yeah. Cookies! Some summer berry shortbread. 
<laughs> no, he wants a cookie. How excited have you been about seeing the characters here? Yeah, really excited. It's very nice to see a very overgrown up eight year old get all excited about meeting his Disney characters. Yeah. We've just done Soarin'. What did you think of Soarin', boys? It's really good. Um, what, what was good? Yeah. What was good? What was when the best the evil jump scared us. Yeah, the uh, evil kid flying us. What did it feel like we were doing? Uh, we were flying. Skydiving. And we went and saw loads of things around the world, we didn't we? We went to the Eiffel Tower. It was so realistic, wasn't it? Amazing, amazing. You've got to try soaring. Sunday evening, Epcot, awesome time to come. We're now going on, what are we going on? Nemo. Nemo, Nemo under the sea. Just walking through the queue. Yeah. He's beast behind the coral. So after you've been on Nemo and you come, you exit the ride, you can go in and look around the aquariums. There's dolphins, stingrays, loads of big fish and aquarium aquariums to have a look around there's also an activity room with sort of questions on sharks and stuff it's quite cool having those fun things to do when you get off the rides walking around epcot it is a beautiful park the flower displays the water fountains and features it is just stunning we absolutely loved it here and we were kind of sunset time which made it even prettier and when that big huge epcot ball lights up it is amazing it's really beautiful We also then went on to Figment, Journey into the Imagination, another ride with zero queue and another great activity zone outside of the ride, which was really fun for the kids. We enjoyed that one. It was a fun ride. So ready for Epcot fireworks, aren't we, Joshi? Is this one of our favourite parks? We've had a really good night here, haven't we? Yes, we have. I'm not, I'm what have we been on? We went on Soarin'. How awesome was that? Good. Good. Then we went on Nemo. How good was that? Good. Then we went on Figment. How good was that? Brilliant. Up, up there, good. What about the thing that went through the sky? That was amazing. Soaring, we done that, yeah. But this is awesome, isn't it? We've had the place nearly to ourselves, I'd say. Gorgeous night, isn't it? I'm ready to be tired. You're ready to be tired, but we're going to watch the fireworks first, aren't we? We've got half an hour. And that's the end of another amazing Disney evening. We had the best time at Epcot this night. Um, it was so quiet, surprisingly so. I'm not sure why, but it was brilliant. We just walked on every ride we wanted to do. The place is beautiful. The boys are absolutely shot to bits and exhausted. This is how they look at the end of most nights, falling asleep on the bus, bless them. Just back from Epcot, the fireworks were epic. Now we've got some really sleepy, 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 sleepy Harrison. Aww. Fell asleep on the bus. This is yeah, the reality yeah. of kids in Disney. They're absolutely shot to bits. Although Joshua seems to have just got a second wind. He's wide awake. This is the bad point about having a room at the end of the Yeah, we're quite a walk once we get back to the hotel. We're right at the very end, which is fine because it is nice and quiet because it's quite loud around the pool with the movies and stuff on. And ours is in a lovely situation at the end of everything, but it is at least five or six minute walk when you get back off the bus which is usually fine but 
Tyson is like a little walking zombie with his eyes shut at the moment, so that makes it a little bit more difficult. And I don't like it, it's creepy. But anyway, we're... Um, Am I in the episode? Epcot was down. awesome, wasn't it? And we literally... Yeah. It was um, really quiet, so we walked straight on loads of rides. We're hunting out a frog that Mark's in here now in the fountain. Is it him there? No. We can hear him, but we can't see him. <laughs> we never found that frog. Join us on our next video where we will be heading to Hollywood Studios to go check out those Star Wars rides. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the playlist to see the rest of our Florida adventure.